This was a long track tornado. As we mentioned, it first originally started as a tornado touchdown that happened near the Rusk area. As a matter of fact, just south and southeast of Rusk is where the first report of the tornado uh, touched down. But this storm started an hour or so before. Let's send it over to meteorologist Carson Vicroy. He's tracking this supercell storm that touched down. And it really did, Marcus. It really started outside of Anderson County, moved over northern Houston and southern Anderson County. This is as it crossed the Trinity River. It pulses up, becomes really strong. You see the pink showing up there. There's some lightning associated with it. And then it started moving into Cherokee County. And then we were like, uh oh, this is really starting to strengthen. Well, right after about 550, that is when this became a severe thunderstorm with one inch hail and 60 mile per hour winds. But notice all all this lightning starts to get its act together near Rusk and then the rotation starts to show some signs and then it does move just to the south of Rusk and here you go. This is the wind detector. Red's going towards or away from the Shreveport radar. Green's going towards the Shreveport radar. When they're clumped together like this, that is when you see the tornado and eventually as we look at the rotation detector, yep, same place. That is where it was being detected. And then as this continued to move off to the east by six, we'll call it 617 along Salem and Rusk. That is when we started to get an indication that this thing was on the ground. There you go right there. Bounded region bounded by some of that rain indicating we've got large hail and that rotation. You can see a little clear spot right there and also starting to pick up some debris in that updraft. And then as we rolled a little later on in the future, that is when it started to move near Red Claw and then in Darko still very pronounced hook and this is when it became real dangerous. Notice the wind detector right here started moving over parts of southern Russ County near Mount Enterprise and then it moved over Mount Enterprise. That's where we got lots of reports of damage and then eventually it started to move into sections of southern Panola County. You can see it right there still pronounced hook and then it moved into Panola County eventually moving over Highway 59 and this is probably where it was the strongest right here. You can still see that hook starts to show a debris ball and eventually it moved into eastern Panola County where we really start started to see this ramp up.